Let's explore groupings. Now first let's show the eyes of an admin on the front page, site administration block. Uh, we need to go to miscellaneous, experimental. This is as of Moodle 1.9.7. Uh, it's not enabled by default, but we first need to enable groupings. So groupings are clusters of groups. And naturally we use groups to micromanage learners in a given course context. So let's just step into a sandpit and we'll create some groups. Okay, so we'll call this group, let's say Sydney, Sydney group. And we'll create the Melbourne group. Okay, so the, the number in brackets alongside the, the group name indicates uh, the number of members in those said groups, none at the minute. Okay, so we'll say for Melbourne we will, uh, we will add um, student, that particular student, to the said group, back to groups. And we'll do the same thing here for the Sydney group. We'll add the second student to that group. So we've in fact just organised uh, one student in each of those respective groups. So we go to groupings. Let's create some groupings again. Generally, it's a, uh, a one-to-many relationship here, one grouping and a cluster of groups. But in this case, we're just mapping one group to a single grouping. That's the purpose of what we're trying to achieve. So we'll call this, uh, okay, the Melbourne grouping. And we'll create another grouping. Sydney grouping. Okay, so we we edit this particular grouping. We want to, for the Melbourne grouping, add the Melbourne group back to groupings. We'll do the same thing for Sydney. Mapping the Sydney group to the Sydney grouping. So where this all will start to make sense is we go back to the course page we're editing on. Uh, let's add a resource. We'll link to a file. Okay, we'll get the file name. So we'll just say, uh, what's this? Uh, it's a, just a file resource. You'd call it something perhaps more descriptive. Now we'll, we'll upload that file. So I quickly browse for it. Okay, so this could be a document, a presentation, a piece of media, anything that's uh, likely to have been prepared um, earlier. So we select that. Where uh, groups and groupings comes into play is down here, toward the bottom, in this page where we say available for group members only. And we might say that, okay, well this is only available to uh, the Sydney group, for example. Okay, so we say return to course. So in theory, we can see there uh, in brackets alongside that resource, uh, it's only available to the Sydney grouping. And you could in fact uh, test that as a proof of concept if you wanted. Okay, uh, if we go to the participant list and we could go, okay, we've got a Melbourne student here uh, who's in fact uh, enrolled in the Melbourne group and belongs to the Melbourne grouping, log in as them. And in theory, they shouldn't see that resource. And in fact, they don't. 